Hi, Pisces. It's Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just get started with your reading. Okay, Pisces, we have some court energy. They've they've shown up here in four... You are awareness of the week. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is uh, very loving and considerate and, and one may say motherly in how they treat the people that they care about, their family, their dear friends. She carries the, the attributes of someone who is um, very capable in all areas of life. So being able to multitask for you this week will be right up your alley that you're going to have you're going to have it in hand so whether you are balancing family responsibilities your work responsibilities you know volunteer activities you are going to do a great job with the queen of pentacles she's down to earth she's very common sense uh very approachable and very resourceful so that she is able to find bargains and deals and, and make them work within the home. She's very interested in making the home a beautiful place. And so, again, in addition to multitasking and uh, being in charge and doing a great job with that, this could also signal that maybe you're going to spend some time and effort and energy at home, beautifying your home, maybe getting flowers or fixing something or painting, whatever it may be, to bring you comfort and to make it enjoyable for you. This queen uh, understands the value of money and of time and of resources. And so she plans well. She's uh, probably watching a budget and, you know, along the lines it can be very generous to those that she cares about generous not only with resources but with love and with um, kindness too so with this common sense grounded stable approach of the queen of pentacles here's the king of wands and this is a man of action this is a man with charisma to the nth degree and charm and talents the ability to you know work the room the focus who becomes the focus point point because of presence so what and how has he become the king he's become the king because he is uh, willful and driven to have new experiences to have success and to be in areas that excite him or pa or passionate for him so while you have this grounded stable common sense energy you also have this force coming through of personal power, of getting out there and making the most of life, networking, making the calls, you know, setting up the tennis games or whatever it may be, you're going to move it along to whatever it is that you want to build. And it's exciting to do so. It's exciting to mingle and to interact and to connect. So this is a card I think where it shows that you're going to be a little more active this week and be more of taking charge accessing your own personal power for either your professional growth, your personal growth, spiritual growth, whatever it may be. So in terms of guidance, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the King of Cups. In the Ace of Pentacles, we see the puff hand coming out of the sky, out of the cloud offering this huge pentacle, the beautiful greenery below. And aces are gifts or blessings from the universe, a nudge in your direction, a hint, a message perhaps. And the message is abundance and prosperity can be yours. It's within your reach, but you must do your part in order to make it happen. It's not just going to drop down on you like pennies from heaven. It's going to be a process, and that process is the pentacle way. Hard work, focus, um, being responsible, 
having a plan and working your plan, devoting your time and your resources and your efforts in order to create abundance and happiness and joy within your life. It's all there. The possibility is there for you. You have to work for it and you have to earn it. So the Ace of Pentacles, you know, it's the possibility of a, of a secure and stable foundation. And again, abundance, the abundance of life, not just material things, but spiritually, relationship wise, good health. It's one of the most fortunate cards to have in tarot, but you play a part in this and you have to do the legwork in order to get there. Now on a smaller level, this could be an unexpected windfall coming to you, a rebate, a check in the mail, someone um, paying you back. In addition to the Ace of Pentacles as your guidance for the week, here's the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is, here we have another king, and this king's approach of how he's become the master of cups is different from the King of Wands. This cup, this King of Cups is very concerned with, uh, I would say, emotional integrity, which is saying and expressing just the right of emotions to be supportive, to be a great friend, to be a good leader, who's compassionate about all people, someone who is mindful of, of what people are going through, tuned in, and not overdoing it emotionally, but just the right um, feel and touch within situations. It's the water sign. It's uh, the going with the flow. But it really, it's about the mastery of emotions. So whether this King of Cups is someone within your life, a loved one, uh, a wiser person that you know, older person perhaps, that you can go to, that you can get counsel from, that you can get great advice, someone who's going to listen to you without judgment. And that's really important to have in just in general, to have people who are sensitive, who are, um, you know, easy souls. And the King of Cups is holding this cup here and it looks like he's floating on the water. And he's the one to provide uh, the emotional component uh, that we all need, which is really someone with a heart. So in terms of possible outcomes, interesting, we have the seven of wands and we have the six of wands. Seven of wands this week and the possible outcome is that you may have to defend yourself, you may have to protect your interests. You may have to um, deal with people who aren't in alignment with you or maybe don't agree with what you're doing or your, you know, your belief system. You have the higher ground here. You're wielding the wand. You sim it looks like you have an advantage here. This man is wearing two different boots and you know, it's kind of that feeling. It's like when you have to protect yourself, you just grab whatever you, there's there and you put it on your feet and you, you get out there and you do what you have to do. And so this is standing your ground. Do what you have to do. If people are questioning you, disbelieving or whatever it may be, or coming for you, protect yourself, defend yourself. And then we have success. We have the six of wands. We have the man who's riding in on the horse, he's got his uh, green wreath around his head. He's got a green wreath on his wand. People are watching. This is about your reward, your opportunity for success. And it hasn't been easy. Behind the scenes, you've probably had to put in the time, the work, the energy, the effort, the planning. You've had to deal with disappointment, perhaps obstacles or people who want to be obstacles to you. And through it all, here you are, time to enjoy what you have succeeded at, the goal that you've reached. Maybe it's a small financial goal. Maybe it's something related to your career. This is your, your moment. And again, if it's related to career, maybe you are going to be getting a bonus or just a nice um, review from your boss, something like that. 
but there's been a lot behind the scenes to get to this point. And you're in charge. So you have success here. You have the opportunity for wonderful abundance within your life. And uh, the presence of either supportive people who are uh, successful, ambitious, willful, or emotionally present and, emo and emotionally intelligent. Whether you are getting support from them or whether you are providing this type of support to others, you know, it's how you, how you feel within this reading. So overall, I think it's a really nice week for you. Let's get a sense of what we have for a weekly affirmation for the week. Faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. So I would say the King of Cups is uh, kind of very symbolic of this, of humanity, of goodness, and looking for the goodness in others, looking for the light. You know, stay calm, the Queen of Pentacles. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So letting your love uh, be seen and accepting the love from others, you know, in whatever shape or form from family, from partners, from friends, from uh, the medical community as well. If you're, you know, if you're needing help, if you're not, if you're under the weather. So realize that there is love out there. Sometimes it may not feel that way, but there, there is love and gravitate to the people who are letting their love, you know, uh, come out from them. So friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope that you have a great week. I thank you for your time and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.